Okay, today I'm going to give you a walkthrough of my aquaponic system. I usually have the tarp wrap around it so algae cannot grow. I have the main tank. I have a swirl filter inside the greenhouse. I have two grow beds, a sump tank, a duckweed pond. I'm also growing some more duckweed in these tanks. And these four inch PVC are going to be my hydroponics. So let's go ahead and go back and I will show you how my tank is plumbed. The water comes in these one inch pipes up from the sump and the pump in the sump and it's pumped into here. I have an elbow that's facing upward just in case the power goes out. I don't have an open drain that's going to take my fingerlings or their babies later on to my sump tank, which actually won't happen. That does happen, that's why I did the first place. And now I have an overflow over there also, just in case it rains, so there's too much water that gets in here, like last night. It did rain, which is why I have all these containers open to catch the, uh, the rain water. And that goes directly into the sump tank. Now I have a swirl filter that comes out, as you can see all the way down there. It is connect collecting a bunch of the fish poo. there so this is great a suction and it sucks all your water out which it will do if you're not careful and then it goes into my rain barrel my rain barrel it's going all the way down to the very bottom there and then I have a drain that I opened up from the top so now it's taking all the good water sucking off the good water off the top that side of sucking and all the heavy stuff stays down below. So I'm moving it all around. It's probably gonna get some up. And then I also have another overflow. Everything needs to have an overflow just in case rain, something happens. Okay, so there's my pump in the stump. It's 1200 gallons. It's going up here and it's teeing off. And that's the one that goes out to the fish tank. I have another one that comes up here that I'm going to use to put into my hydroponics section here once I get that built. And the water also comes up here, tees off in two directions. And I have a valve that I can adjust the water flow on both of my beds. As you can see, there's also a catastrophic overflow on both of my grow beds. What happens if this gets clogged up and water keeps on flowing in? Well, it won't overflow and I'll lose all my water. It will overflow back into the sump tank. And same thing over here. You, I, I've seen videos online where these things get clogged up because of root systems and then water just overflows and they lose all their water, their fish, everything. So that's my catastrophic. Something happens and saves my water. I have an upside down IBC that I have over here that's growing on my duckweed. This right here, believe it or not, was about a cup's worth just about a week or so ago. And now it is a lot more than a cup's worth. I also have three fish tanks over here that I'm going to use for my breeding, but right now they're just growing some extra duckweed for me. Inside here I have a bunch of feeder fish that have grown quite big. And one tilapia that has shut down my overflow, which is why I put that thing over it. Thinking about catastrophic overflows, just in case I don't lose a whole bunch of water because of rain or what have you that will go into the system. 
All right, this next video that I'm going to be making will be these two four inch IBCs. I'm going to plumb it to where the pump comes up here, tees off, goes to the fish tank. But I'm also going to have this right here, which is going to come up and be my water that will come in here, probably. Flow down, drop down this one, pull back here. And I'll have some more plumbing that will come down here and go back into my sump tank. So, stay tuned. And I'll show you how I make that on my next video.